Hey Mallards, it is Thursday and this afternoon I convinced Meg and Amanda to play the Hallmark game that I had seen on a TikTok where the rule is you pick a Hallmark movie based on the image and title and then you don't read the description, you watch three minutes of the film and then you write what you think is going to happen and then you watch the rest of the film and then you read back your predictions. Uh, the film we chose is called Finding Father Christmas. We didn't know anything. We watched the first three minutes. We wrote our predictions. We started the movie back up again and immediately got a reveal that uh, completely threw a wrench, I think, in everybody's initial descriptions. Uh, and finished off uh, one of the worst films we've seen. It was very slow paced. It was kind of boring and uh, none of us were engaged. That's true. It was only 90 minutes, but it felt much longer. Yeah, it was only 90 minutes, but it felt much longer. But now I think it's time uh, for people to read out predictions. Megan, will you will you read out what people thought this film was going to be about? I certainly can. Uh, and then we'll give a brief synopsis of what actually happened. Who should I read first? I don't know. Whoever's on the list first. All right. So Mallory Vance uh, says... Miranda will meet a mysterious stranger who is looking for a home. Mm -hmm. oh. She won't like him at all, and he might be grouchy. Circumstances will ensure that they both end up at a theater seeing a Christmas carol where she will recite all the lines. He will remind her what the spirit of Christmas is really all about by sneaking her up to the dressing room and also smelling like her mother. It's <laughs> a good guess. It's a good guess. Thank you. Yes. There were definitely elements of that. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, what's next? Uh, Amanda says, Miranda has sworn off theater since her mother died doing a Christmas carol. She's going to meet a man involved in theater and be like, no, I don't believe in Christmas. But then he'll be since and stuff. I think that was supposed to say nice and stuff. Nice since and stuff. <laughs> And she'll be like, wow, I love Christmas again. Thanks, theater man. I mean, like, I feel like so far yours is more accurate in its obtuseness. Mm -hmm. I, I was she did meet a man who was involved in a theater. Yes. <laughs> All yeah. right, Megan. I said Miranda, Miranda's mother dies on slash around Christmas, and Miranda never celebrated Christmas ever again. <laughs> the holidays are great for other people, but not her, not without mommy. Until Miranda is walking down the street carrying a lot of stuff and she can't see where she's going. She says, whoa, a lot. And then an item falls and it's caught by Santa's son. Santa is a familial job passed from father to son. And this is Daddy Christmas's last time as Santa until he retires. Santa's son, the love interest, needs to find himself to find the father Christmas inside himself before he takes the job. He needs to remind Miranda of her love of Christmas to prove himself uh, to himself and also to daddy, uh, so that he is ready to be Santa. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, I would have rather watched any of those. <laughs> yeah, you would have been fine with any of those. Finding Father Christmas, uh, yeah. which is really just about finding her father. It should be called it called Finding Father at Christmas. Yeah, the thing that got revealed. I mean, he was. So we literally watched three minutes, and then at three minutes and 45 seconds, she was like, and my mother never told me who my father was. And all three of us went, well, there went our predictions. This is clearly going to be an I gotta find my daddy sort of situation. So then it just became a film set at Christmas where she does fall for this handsome helper at an inn in the middle of nowhere, Massachusetts. Sorry, you're right. She just flew into Boston, so it was on my brain. In the middle of nowhere, Vermont, and she falls for the son of the innkeepers. His name is Ian, and he's helping out, and he's very Christmassy, and he, like, is sweet to her. But it's really about the mystery of her figuring out who her dad is, and he's another actor who was famous in the town and has his own kids, and or one kid, I guess. And then it's like, a, oh, no, don't tell people because, like, it'll ruin things. But then everybody finds out at the end. And then there are two more movies, which is a whole other thing. 
I think we won't watch those because I was bored. Yeah, we were all bored. Uh, cannot recommend Finding Father Christmas. Can recommend this game, though. I feel like that was kind of fun. I enjoyed reading back our predictions afterwards. I also enjoyed imagining these other films. So if you want to play the Hallmark movie game, let me know. I will watch three minutes of a Hallmark movie with you and then write down predictions. I'm absolutely going to force my family to play this when I'm home for Christmas. And I'll see you tomorrow.